Hello friends, welcome to BSP Solutions. Myself Ashwin and I work as a technical consultant at BSP Solutions. BSP Solutions is a tech company and provide technological solutions across the world. Now, in this video, I am going to show you how to use the case, case when and then in saved search. In saved search, many times uh, the client asks you to create a report or to create a saved search in which there should be a column. For example, if the total purchase is less than $900, then it should show second priority. And if the, the total purchase is more than uh, or the greater than $900, it should show in type top priority so that we can download the CSV list and we can distribute to our sales rep. So in this way, for example, let's let me show you. So this is used for basically reporting purpose. And second is the syntax. The syntax is very simple case expression, when expression, then again, you have to write some expression and then else, and then it will be closed by end. Now, let me show you with an example. Now here you can see sales order form list, right? This is our sales order form. And here is the total purchase. Now we have to generate a report in which this report itself shows that if it is below 800 or 900, it should show the second priority. If, let me show you this like this. Now it would be more easy. Suppose if you download the list and then we can easily uh, divide into two the first priority list and the second priority list. So how to create such type of saved searches, how to apply the formula here. Now look at this. If it is 900 and 900 uh, greater than 900, it will show top priority. Here is 8,922 that is top priority. It is below 900 that is second priority. So here we use the formula in saved search. Now how to use that formula? Let me show you. Here I have created a saved search in the result. We will go. Now formula text. And then here, now let's, I will click here first. Okay. Now case from here, let me control C here. And then I will show you from where it can get. See here from here, you will get the function like case. Here is the case. So this uh, will show you all the expressions case when then this is the complete syntax. And from here you will get the field of that particular form, all the forms, all the IDs you can get from here. For example, this total purchase ID, the total purchase ID is this customer record total purchase. So now what we will do, we will remove all these things. We will put this case when total purchase is less than 900. If it is less than 900, then it will show second priority and else it will show top priority and then end. So this is how we use the cases. There are different, different type of cases case. Uh, if it is greater than, or you can put here like If there is a, some another uh, element, then you can insert here and, and you can put another condition. So that is up to you. How many conditions you want to apply here? Then we will put here. Okay. Remaining all is same here. You can, if you type here formula here, see formula currency date, formula date, formula numeric, formula percent, formula text. So here I have used formula text. Now if I save and run, just cancel it. See here, it is showing priority. You can change the text here. Priority comes from label text. Here is the custom label. If you want to apply formula on any date, so you can use here formula date. There are so many things 
in our later videos we will see how to apply different different types of formulas and how to use different type of uh, cases and functions how to use functions in our later videos we will see so many times the client ask you to generate a report so this is how we generate a report so there are two ways one is the report generation through report module and another is the saved search module so with the help of saved search also we can generate such type of report so this is most important uh, syntax this is most important module here that how to generate a report as per the client need so i recommend you to practice this use different different cases use different different functions inside that and if you have any uh, uh, doubt or uh, difficulty you can uh, note down in the comment box i will resolve it so guys in this case in our later videos we will see some more uh, different different criteria how to generate report based on client requirement and if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel thanks for watching the video thank you